Hello everybody and welcome to my 80 second VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to add multiple parameters into your command objects and also how to use different data types in your parameters. Uh, so I've added a new module uh, and it will be in tutorial 92 in my downloadable source documents where the, the link for that will be below onto the website. Uh, and uh, it's just got a list of all the different number values that you need to use for the different data types uh, and so we're going to be using these in these tutorials I'll show you how to use the different ones uh, and I've created a new database table that just has user ID date added and age so it's got a text field a date field and a number field so I'll show you how to use these three and then hopefully any other type data types you should be able to work out how to use yourself from using the different list of data types. Uh, so let's get started. I've made a new sub called add new field. Uh, and I'm going to dim uh, a few different things. So first of all, I want to create my different fields to give them values. Uh, I'm actually going to have say user ID as string date added I'm not going to add and then age as uh, long and then let's set the values for these so user id equals environ bracket username so that's just going to take the value of the user's login details from the uh, windows environment and let's put age equals to uh, I'm going to put it as 25 because that's my age uh, the date we're going to take from the current system dates uh, so I'm not going to bother putting in these bits here so let's then move on to our next set of objects so we want to create our command object uh, as object and we want to create three parameters so param1 as object and then just copy that down and we'll have three parameters Pram two, pram three, uh, and we want a SQL string. So dim SQL string, that's string, and SQL string equals, and we're going to do an insert this time. So insert into new users, which is my new table name, and then user ID, comma, date added comma age and then I'm going to start a new line say ampersand underscore values and let's make sure it's all capitals open bracket and then we're just going to put in our parameter names so I want to have user ID comma at uh, date added comma at age and then close bracket notice how much tidier it is than a normal insert statement uh, it's just really neat because we're not using any of our apostrophes hashtags any concatenation with other types of things in SQL, it just makes our SQL string really tidy as well, which is nice and useful. And then that's going to be our SQL string. So let's create our command object. So set command uh, equal to create object adadb dot command and then let's set it, assign it the connection. So cool connect database and that's going to use the connect database sub that we've already defined in our database connection module again which you can download from the source files on the website with link below uh, and then let's do command dot active connection equals db con same as in the last tutorial and uh, then we want to do command dot command text and then that's just going to equal our SQL query. 
We then want to add all of the parameters. So set param1 equal to command dot create parameter open bracket and we want the name of our parameter so my first one is user id and the data type is going to be 129 the same as in the last tutorial and then our statutory one to show that it's input and our field size 52 uh, and then I'm going to have do, 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 the value of it is going to be our user ID variable from the top. So user ID. And then let's just copy this down. Uh, and this one is going to be our date added. Uh, and if we just go into our data types and look for a, a date type, so that's number seven. So number of days since December the 30th. So uh, our add date. So we want to put seven in as our data type. Uh, and the size, I'm just going to make a bit bigger. Uh, and then in here, instead of using the user ID, I'm just going to put in the date function that gives the current system date and say so that will put that in. For this one, I'm going to take my age and let's just check our data types. So let's use a integer, so value three. Uh, so let's put in three here. I'm going to keep it as 52. Uh, um, Actually, let's make that bigger. Let's put that as 250. Uh, that's just the size of the the field. And then user ID, I'm going to switch out for age. Um, we just need to rename the parameters to match with our variable names. So now we need to do uh, append these three parameters. Let's do command dot parameters dot append param1 and then let's just copy this twice and put two and three and then finally in order to run our command we just put command dot execute uh, and then that we use instead of our db con dot execute that we normally use uh, so it's just a little bit uh, just skips out a little bit so because we've already assigned the connection up here, so we just have to run our command now. And then I'm going to set command equals nothing. And set all of my parameters equal to nothing. Just to tidy up my memory and make sure Excel doesn't leave any of them open. And just do that for each of them. So parameter one, parameter two, parameter three. And then finally, I'm going to call my close database function, which again is from our database connection module up here. And so that's it. That is the entirety of our insert. We've got three different parameters, one which is a date, one which is an uh, integer, uh, and the, well, one that is just a string value same as we did in the last tutorial so if i press play now uh, and it's going to run fine i've got no errors uh, and so if i go into my database and open up my new users table you'll notice that that's been added in uh, as such which is fantastic so just to recap uh, you create an SQL command using your parameters with at at the start of them to signify them. Don't need to worry about apostrophes, don't need to worry about hashtags, don't need to worry about any of that. Uh, you then create your command object and assign the database connection to it. Uh, and you also assign your SQL query to it. We then set up our different parameters using our parameter data type number in here. Uh, and then we append them to our database as such. And then we just execute our command and then we shut everything down. 
and that is the entirety of our code so uh if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below or go onto the forum in the link if you want to paste some code you've got uh and that's going to be it now for active data objects and sql so over the next few tutorials i'll start to show you how to uh, manipulate uh, other workbook objects other than the one you've got open uh, other microsoft word objects how to look for s uh, files on the system and things like that using file system objects so please subscribe for the new tutorials that will be coming in the next few days uh, and uh, like us on Facebook, link will be in the description uh, and you can get notifications about anything that's happening with uh, uh, any new tutorials or anything. So thanks for listening, I uh, hope to catch you in the next tutorial.